एंड वो था इक्वली पावरफुल इंस्टीट्यूशन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ येल मिशिगन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टेक्सिस हार्वर्ड एम आई टी स्टैनफोर्ड ऑक्सफोर्ड ऑल द टॉप रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट अराउंड द वर्ल्ड यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सिंगापुर इन जापान इन यूरोप इन अमेरिका यूर इन आइसर्स यू आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग लेट से वन टू इंटर्नशिप यू डिड इन इंडिया यू मास्टर प्रोजेक्ट यू डिड इन अब्रॉड इन यूएसए और जर्मनी और लेट से इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया यू ऑलरेडी हैव कनेक्शन विद द प्रोफेसर यू ऑलरेडी गेट अप गॉट अप एच डी ऑफर राइट दिस इज हाउ सिंपल इट इज अब ऑलमोस्ट टू थाउजेंड क्रोर्स हैव बीन स्पेंड टू बिल्ड नाइजर Hi everyone this is Vivek Dwedi final year integrated chemistry and chemistry at Nicer and this is going to be a very important video for all the Nicer Iser and CBS aspirants in this video i will compare Nicer and CBS in various conditions and both are equally powerful institution you can let me know in the comments below now when i talk about Nicer i am basically telling you about both Nicer and CBS that is the institutes which come under department of atomic energy hbni okay when i talk about isers i am talking about all seven isers isers pune kolkata mohali bhopal burhampur tiruvananthpuram tirupati so all seven isers now one more important thing i want to tell you if you go and search on kora or google or on youtube you will find so many random videos from random people who will say i am from iser this was my experience at iser and so many fake you know profiles are there so many fake people telling wrong things about nicer iser and all and uh, negative things as well as so many wrong positive things also so two kinds of wrong things they have told in all these platforms some are very negative to these institutes some are very positive to these institutes but in this video i will try to focus and give you very neutral uh, point of view for both nicer and cbs i will not say that everything is good in one institute and everything in, is bad in other institute okay i will tell you very clearly the facts about each of the institutions and i want to give a disclaimer my aim is not to demean defame or uh, any of the institutions okay my aim is totally to give you information and facts about these as much as i know about them based on my experience of living in a research institute one of the premier research institutes in india now here are the areas i am going to compare them first is academic structure second is scholarship third is placements then fourth is funding fifth is msc thesis project sixth one nirf ranking seventh one seats and eighth one is entrance examination so in these eight parameters i am going to compare icers nicer and cps so let me first tell you about the academic structure so you know that in five year bsc and msc program bsms program in icers first year you have to read all the subjects like physics chemistry maths bio humanities uh subjects economics sociology and all those subjects in second year you can choose your pre major by i think third or fourth semester you can choose a pre major out of pcmb and mostly you will do course work from those subject and from third year itself you get your major subject and you start working on that particular subject for remaining 3 years your masters project will be in that particular subject only now in nicer from first year only you have to study pcmb sociology economics humanity subjects and all in second year you directly get your major so for example first year i read all of these subjects second year i chose chemistry similarly people choose physics or biology like that so from second year we get our major subject as a result of this for final year msc thesis at nicer we get two years of msc thesis which is fourth and fifth year but in icers since they choose their major in third year so in third and fourth year they do the course work and fifth year only one year masters thesis project they have i will tell you more about masters thesis in the later part of this video okay this is the major dis- difference in the course structure you can say and the minor degree is there in all of these institutions different icers have again a bit different academic structure but generally it is very same as i have told you right now now apart from this you can also do minor degree in some other subjects as well for example uh, if you are having major in physics you can do minor in mathematics or if you are in biology you can do in chemistry it can be in any of the areas it's not very strict it depends on the program now first you if you are a iser aspirant or nicer aspirants first qualify the nest exam these are later discussion when you come into these colleges i will help you how to choose and all that okay so this was the one major difference now second one is the scholarship so as you know that at nicer it comes under department of atomic energy dst government of india right so it has more funding as compared to icers as a result the students at nicer and cbs get scholarship which is called disha scholarship 5000 per month plus 20000 for summer internship contingency total we get 80000 rupees per month and fees is also very less as i have already made detailed video about the fees at nicer as well as uh, cbs and icers so you can check those videos so the scholarship we get at nicer and fees is also very less but at icers fees is uh typically higher about 80 to you know 90000 depending on various categories it is less for stsc for example just 40 to 50000 uh 
uh, but fees is higher and scholarship is also not there at ISERS. Earlier it was there. I don't know why it got abolished. Now students at ISERS do not get scholarship just because they are at ISERS. There are people who get Inspire scholarship, but Inspire scholarship has different eligibility criteria. That is a different program. To know in detail about the fees, please check my these videos. I will put the link in the description. Otherwise, this video will become very, very long. And I have told in detail about the fees and scholarship in these videos. Now, let me tell you about the placement. So there are three parts in this. First one is placement in academia. Academia means those who go for uh, further studies for PhD. So from ISERS, NISERS, CBS, all of these institutes, we have a lot of great placement offers, PhD offers from uh, University of Yale, Michigan, University of Texas, Harvard, MIT, Stanford, Oxford, all the top research institutes around the world, University of Singapore, in Japan, in Europe, in America, Australia, everywhere you see uh, the students from these institutes go and pursue their PhD. So it is one of the top class research institute in India, which give you almost, you know, guaranteed. When, when someone comes in ISER or NISER and CBS, he or she is assumed that the person is going to do PhD and the professors have very good network. They train them very well in these institutes because overall they even get publication. My own friends in uh, BSc and MSc, they have, you know, four or five research paper itself and that too, that person is in biology. Similarly, in chemistry, my friends have one or two papers. So with such kind of profile and resume, with so much experience in internships at various places, it's very easy to get these international and very good PhD offers. By the way, these in these PhD offers, they also get stipend and they all the fees and everything is taken care of by the institutions. The student, the PhD student does not have to pay a lot of things. Okay, uh, all the contingency or you can say the stipend or you can say as a job salary is given monthly and depending on the country, it is different. For example, in Europe, is it is two to three thousand euro depending on the place you are in or the institute you are in. in uh, America again, it is I think two to three thousand uh, dollars uh, like that. So it, it varies depending on the institute. But yeah, it is like that. Uh, coming to second part, which is industry. So the best part I like about ISERS is that they have very good running placement cell, for example, in Pune, Kolkata, Bhopal. And there have been so many placements uh, from companies like TCS and many pharmaceutical companies uh, coming there recruiting students in mathematics and physics. They generally take data scientist role, which has very good packages. Again, I don't, I could not find, I tried a lot, but I could not find very in detail about these placement offers, how much salary they were getting, but there are placement cell in ISER very well and functional, functioning. In NISER last year itself, or you can say this year itself, we started the placement cell and we have also got many PhD and uh, MSc job offers. Uh, I, I won't say about my offer itself. I also got placed and all. I will not talk in detail about it, but yeah, uh, we have started the placement cell at NISER now. And we have also uh, got some pharmaceutical companies, TCS and all coming to us and recruiting students from here. So there is now industry related placement happening slowly. It, it is very less as compared to the PhD offers, but it is increasing now. And third one is the bark. So this is one difference in the placement that from ISERS, you cannot apply directly for the interview of bark scientific officer role. But from NISER and CBS, since you have already cleared NEST examination and you are under institute which comes under Department of Atomic Energy, so you can go for the interview directly without even going for the written examination. Although it is very, very hard, interview is very hard, whether you go for gate through gate examination through direct interview. But yeah, ultimately, you don't have to give a written exam if you're from NISER or CPS to go to bar in various uh, scientific officer role, I guess, the positions which get released and you can join just after the MSc from these institutes. Now, let me tell you about the funding. So as I said, uh, NISER generally has more funding. Uh, according to some speeches of directors, I have heard from you know, foundation day lectures and all about uh, 1500 to 2000 crores have been already spent by last previous last few years data I am telling. Okay, about almost 2000 crores have been spent to build NISER. And uh, I could find some of the official documents with almost 700 crore funding in uh, from 2012 to 2018. I guess I will put those document link in the description. You can check, but it's not very official data. But from what I have heard from the talks of uh, director, uh, almost 2000, maybe more than that has been spent on NISER. And from what I have heard about ISERS, it is almost 500 crores were allotted to each of the ISERS in last few years. Again, I don't have very much uh, data about it, but roughly I can say that uh, NISER and CBS generally get more funding than ISERS from what I have known from my friends circle around me. Okay, that, that is all I can tell you about the funding. I do not have any government official data with me. Now coming to master's project or thesis. So as I told in NISER, you have to do two years of master's project uh, in your fourth and fifth year. But at ISERS, it is only one year. And another part is that the best thing about ISERS is that 
I personally, which I love about it is that uh, they can do their master's project from anywhere. For example, just imagine you were doing chemistry. You can do your chemistry project from uh, somewhere in Germany. And after doing the project, uh, you can really convince that professor and the professor has already built a connection with you. That person has seen your work. So they, they are very happy to take you for their PhD as well. But if you are at uh, NYSER, then you cannot do your MSc project outside uh, because they feel that their lab infrastructure, everything is uh, very good and they do not allow students to go outside do MSc project. So as a result, uh, we are not able to build that good connection with the professors outside. Uh, we have to apply again, work hard to, you know, get PhD abroad. But if you're in ISERS, you are already doing, let's say one, two internships you did in India, your master's project you did in uh, abroad in USA or Germany, or let's say in Australia, that you already have connection with the professor, you already get a, got a PhD offer, right? This is how simple it is. Now, apart from this, obviously people at ISERS also apply to a lot of other universities. Not everyone gets satisfied with the lab they get, right? So they even apply for MIT, Stanford, Yale, more and more options so that they can get more PhD offers. But the best part, as I told you, is that you can do master's project outside your own institute, your own ISER. But, but in NYSER, I don't think this is allowed. I think it is also allowed in CBS, but not in NYSER. Now, one more thing I want to add is regarding the master's project. So it in NYSER, generally it is fixed that from physics, chemistry, maths, bio only, you have to choose a research topic and project and you have to do it. But in ISER, for example, one of the uh, CAT toppers who got all India rank one in CAT exam for IAMs, uh, he did his pro master's project in, I think, water management or something related to poverty. Uh, but it will not be allowed if he was in NYSER. So in ISERS, you can do projects outside your, you know, core basic science domain, physics, chemistry, maths, bio, you can do project in like he did in, uh, you know, uh, wastewater management or something related to poverty. So uh, this is also one of the really good parts about ISERS, which I really like. And in fact, this person was in physics department and he did his project in power, water poverty, uh, but uh, it would not happen if he was in NYSER or CPSI. Now, uh, generally people talk about NIRF ranking, but Instead of that, I'm going to tell you about the nature index. Okay. Why? Because an IRF ranking has so many parameters that uh, it's not very good uh, criteria to judge a research institute. I think uh, nature index, which tells you about the research output of various institutes around the world can tell you better about the research output in these institutes. So I will share my screen and show you how you can also see, go to the website and see what is the ranking of Indian institutes globally and in different areas, what is the ranking of different institutes in India. Okay, let me go to the screen and share with you how you can see what is the ranking of uh, NYSER, CBS, ISERS in Nature Index. Let me tell you about the nature index of various research institutes I just told you. So if you see in 2022, uh, I will give this website link in the description. Okay, don't worry about this. So uh, if you see the global ranking in all the sec sectors, let me come to academic. Okay, let's not go to government, corporate, corporate and others. Let me talk about academic uh, and all the subjects here. So if I generate the ranking, so we got these ranking now i don't know where india is let me find out let me just search here india and we can see india is almost at 149 you see 149 we see the first college in india which is isc bangalore okay uh, then we go to the next one which is in india at 190 we have seen we have homi bhava hbni this is actually nicer and cbs okay here you can see from physical sciences and in detail analysis about the research output as per the share of the subject okay now, so as I told uh, India, if we search, so first one is Bangalore, then we see HBNI. Uh, next, next one we get is HBNI. Uh, HBNI is NYSER and CBS. Okay, these come under uh, National Bhaba, Homi Bhaba National Institute. Uh, then uh, next one we see at 247 is IIT Bombay in overall global ranking. Uh, next we see India is Iser Kolkata. At 274 we have Iser Kolkata. Then if we go next, we see Iser Pune. Then at 316, we have Iser Pune. And if we see next, then we have IIT Madras. So as you can see, only IIT Bombay is above the Iser, which is Iser Pune and Kolkata, while uh, uh, mostly other IITs are even below this. Okay, so this was the global. This was the global nature index, as you can see here. Now let me uh, go to India. Okay, so let me go to India and search the academic section uh nature and science okay so both in nature and science in these journals if we search uh we generate the list and we see first one is iser kolkata wow in academic output nature and science iser kolkata is the first then uh, jncasr 
comes then comes ACRI okay i don't know what this is then i see bangalore even comes here six number and iit mandi is above this okay I, uh, and iit kharagpur at 5 uh, i don't know where other institutes are but anyways so this was academic and nature and science these are the papers given to nature and science now if we go to subject wise if we talk uh, all and if we talk all and search generate then we have csir first then we have iser kolkata then jn csr then ncdc iac iacsc iacs indian association for cultivation of science in india then various others okay now let me go to no, instead of nature and science let, let me go to physical sciences okay and uh, let me generate the list so in physical sciences in academic and corporate sector both we see hbni first so in physics that is why it is generally said that you know nizer or hbni has one of the best research outputs in physics in india in hbni if you click again you will see that almost 41.69 percentage share is from physics then remaining is from chemistry then life sciences and then environmental sciences the next one that comes is isc bangalore so even uh, physics nature index in in nature index physics section even isc bangalore comes second uh, to nizer and here you can see output of isc bangalore as per the subjects then third one is the tifr tata institute of fundamental research then comes iit kanpur then then comes iser pune you see here five then uh, then six one is indian association for cultivation of sciences and then comes iit bombay and others department of space and all that this was in physics if you talk about chemistry uh, in india let's generate the list so first one is csir then iit bombay then iit uh, then iic bangalore then iser kolkata then iacs then iit madras then jncsr then iser pune and all that okay and if we choose instead of all we choose academic section at uh, academic sector so in that case iit bombay then iic bangalore then iser kolkata then iit madras and all that is coming okay now if we come to let's say earth and planetary sciences earth and environment sciences academic so in academic iic bangalore is first then iser kolkata then iit kanpur so i told you right how to find out all of these things uh uh so yeah you can find out these list i will give this link in the description with that all the best now let me tell you about the number of seats in these institutes as you already know isers have lot more number of seats as you can see in the screen here total almost 1748 plus 90 that is 1838 seats so almost 1800 seats are at isers uh, while at nizer you see as you can see in the screen here 200 seats at nizer and almost 57 seats at cbs so total you just have 257 seats as a result generally it is much harder to get into nizer and cbs as compared to isers and coming to the next point eighth one which is the entrance exams so as you know that next exam is actually je advanced level or kvpy level uh, the questions asked in this exam very much will make you think very critically about the subject very in depth as a result uh, it is very hard to get into nizer and cbs already the question is paper is hard and then number of seats are also less but when it comes to uh, isr so there are there were earlier three channels kvpy isr aptitude test and je advanced more than 75% of the seats were taken through isr aptitude test and now the kvpy has been abolished right so for 2023 this year as i have already told uh, in detail about the video from the official notification from kvpy 2021 sc stream they will take student from j advanced they will take the students and from iser aptitude test they will take the students so in iser the admission happens through these three channels and as i already told you about this seats so there are almost 1838 seats at isers uh, now iser aptitude test is comparatively easier than j advanced it is almost j means sometimes above j means level or sometimes at the level of j means examination uh, the questions level of questions i'm talking about the exam pattern is also different you need to have section wise cut off marks in each of the uh, you know major three subjects that you will attempt but in uh, iser aptitude test there is no section wise cut off marks you can attempt as many sections as want uh, you can attempt uh, or leave any of the sections you want in next examination you can do any of the three section best three section will be taken into account if you want to know in detail about these exam patterns how to prepare for these examinations i have already made detailed strategy videos how to prepare for them i have already launched so many crash courses we have got so many selections all india rank 1 all india rank 12 all india rank 13 more than 400 of our students are now in these premier research institutes around india okay so please check out our crash courses we already have revision classes study materials mock tests more than 12 a uh, mock test with detailed solutions previous papers with detailed solutions all of them doubt clearing classes are there private telegram group is there if you have any other doubt outside the class you can ask them so everything is there you don't need anything outside this 
for people who are preparing for next year uh, IIT or NEST 2024 or 2025, we will launch courses very soon. And depending on when you are watching this video, it might have already been launched. So please check sayastra.com website slash courses section. Or you can also message me personally in Sayastra app. Okay, whether you take any of my courses or not, you can always message me for any kind of doubt or career counseling regarding these research institutes in India. With that, I hope this video was useful to you. Please like this video right now. It took so much hard work to make this very long video. So please subscribe to this channel. With that, see you at your dream institute. Jai Hind. Poi bhi sapna saakar karne ke liye sabse zaruri hai sahi coach ka hona. Chuniye Sayastra aur kare apne IIT and NEST ka. Sapna Sakar. Download the app now.